got this week's episode. Back with me is my voice. Thanks uh, for clipping on the phone. Uh, clipping? Uh, clipping? 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 What are you doing? Is it an auction or something, is it? But it's paid by the minute. It's paid by the minute. No, thanks for clicking on the thumbnail. Um, well, even for uh, thumbnail yeah. appearing or anything. Yeah. But anyway, let's let's move on. What, what's happening? What's uh, happening? Just to sort of just go through a few bits and pieces, really, because we've got it all stripped down and ready and rare to go, and just a little chat about what's coming up next, probably. And yeah, so we're still pieces. on the Honda CB five hundred. Yeah. Yeah, so that this would be the final week for this for a little while, I think. And then, because right. um, we've got I quite mean, a few weeks the, on it, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, there'll be the battery box and stuff like that, which I'm gonna, which I should do sort of on ad cam probably. Um, I can talk about that tonight and the cock up that I made. <laughs> right, but yeah, oh, and then with on. the mini, then I'll, I'll, try, I'll try and do a bit with the mini because I'm gonna push that on a bit, just in case. Okay, uh, w- w- yeah. w- uh, okay, let's crack on then. Yeah. Let's crack on. What do you reckon? Get crack on. Crack on. Well, you look like you've been doing something. Well, yes, I made the battery box up, um, but I cocked up the bending method of it, really, the way I bent it. Oh, is this I a cock-up right you're talking order, about, Yeah, it? and then plus oh. as well, the other thing, because I might make another one, because I'm not happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> the other now, how, many, well, how many things have you made about three or four times with the Mini and the bike? Oh, it's me, your whole life's been like that. Just the whole keep, life. Keep making yeah. stuff and making yeah. it again, didn't you? Yeah, but I, tr- I tried using, uh, I thought it was like um, uh, Sikaflex, and I bought it grey, so it would match in, and I was going to stick it, because obviously I haven't got anything to spot weld it, because really what it wants is spot welding. So you spot weld it, boom, 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 and then it fixes the box together. And I stuck it and clamped it all up, come up here tonight, took the clamp off thinking, oh yeah, that'll do it, and it didn't stick it at all, it's still wet. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to rivet it, because I think riveting will be bad, so I'm just wondering if we get um, Jock to, to um, uh, TIG weld it, stainless steel TIG weld it, whether I drill holes in it and then he TIG welds it through the holes right. in, in, that, in, that, in that bit there, look. So I drill two holes there and then he TIG welds it to that. Right. But I have got a TIG welder, do I have a go myself? Yeah, I was going to say I thought you had a TIG welder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't know how to use it, but... Oh, oh, you've never used it? I've used it, well, Mick was, uh, Mo, um, Jock was showing me, you know, was teaching me, basically, on it. So, what do you normally use in? I mean, use I, me I'm good... normally, but you, you it's stainless steel, so you don't really want to use a MIG welder on stainless steel. Oh, it just don't work? Mm, well, it does, but it'll start rust, the rust, it'll rust where you've, where you've tapped it. It needs to be, have stainless steel wire in it. Well, there you go. Yeah. Right. So I don't know what to do with that. I don't know. I don't really want to rivet it because I mean I've got some really small rivets, but I don't know. <laughs> but basically, right. I made a pattern up first out of cardboard. So I did all the folds on that. But it was the way. It was the. And how did you come and get the sizes in? And all? You just, I just, just measured it basically the width oh, of it. Nothing fancy. No, then. nothing fancy. And then I, I worked it out that way. But it was the. It was the order of the bends that I made. I thought I did it right, and I, I should have done the so, these two side bits first, and then got my way around it. But it does it does fit it does it does fit in there. These two bits have got to be bent down, obviously, and then holes in them, um, like this other one. So I thought like that. See, that one was made out of metal, you know, just normal um, normal steel, and they, they welded it. You see, just MIG welded it. Yeah. But I thought. It's done. I thought make it out of stainless because then we can put the stainless plate on the back because um, Ian wants a plate on it so that obviously is bent down there that'll only go up to there so cut that off there so then that, that bolts the it fixes onto this cross cross beam there and then cut this down so then it sits on top of that if you see what I mean right. and then that stops all the mud coming up underneath yeah. you know when obviously Ian goes on the gravel not. <laughs> oh, I nearly passed that by then. I nearly just went, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. I did. Yeah. Oh, dear me, yeah. Yeah, so these have got to be bent down. So I haven't decided, it's, it's how we fix it. I'm, you know, I've, I've got a seed job this week anyway, so I might take it with me and get him to TIG weld it. I don't know yet, but I'm not happy with the bends, the Christmas of the bends, because I've got a little um, bending machine and it, it weren't really. I saw really that on the bench last week. Yeah, so, and it's just to cut that out. But I'll cut that out next, so I'll do all this next week. Uh, before the frame goes because we're going to take the frame in next weekend so I've got a week to get these bits measured out and get the holes right where's the frame going then? it's going to Gary um, oh, I can't think of his name now um, 
<laughs> Gary Bentley's blasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So we're going to try. So he's get... doing the frame. Is he doing yeah. the, the engine soda well, blast? Well, I don't know if he does soda blast. And I have actually bought some soda. I've bought a bucket of soda, soda over there. So I didn't know we were ever going myself. Soda. Yeah. Ah, uh, you see, now that just shows how stupid I am, doesn't it? I thought you were saying solar blast. No. It's soda, soda blast. Yeah. It's baking soda. It's, it's, it's all it is. Right. By carbon of soda. Because right. then you can you can you can blast the engines and stuff like that, and all you have to do is just soak it in water, and it dissolves away, so you don't get all the grit and horrible stuff in, left inside like you would do with vapor blasting. Because the thing to do would beat the vapor blast it, obviously, but then we don't want all the grunt gunk and crap going into the engine. So if it's done with soda, you see the soda it dissolve away. Did I explain that well enough? You did perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously this can be, the, the, the frame can be sandblasted and everything else can be, you know, um, vapor blasted. Right. And then what will the frame come back looking like then once it's all done? Will it look like it'll bare be, metal or something? No, it'll be powder coated in orange. Oh. Yeah. The only other thing I've got to find out from Ian is what these bloody rib nuts are there, what they're for. I don't know what they're for, I've got to find out what they are, because they don't line up with the with that cow. Um, Right. How can I show you? I might, I might, yeah, I might be able to show you actually. Right, I'll put Simon on and look. On this side, look, it's touching that there, that rib nut. Yep. And on the other side, it's not. See, there it's, it's showing. So I don't know if the rib nut's been put in the wrong place or it's the fiberglass that's warped because we've had trouble with this warping, haven't we? With this, because it's such an old cow. Mm. So, <laughs> Such an old cow. Yeah. So I don't know. But the other thing I've got to do, obviously, is is redo the um, is redo the the fiberglass on the inside there, where I ground it away to get so we could get the bolt to fit, so it didn't look off centre. But this is cow. Is uh, well, I know I keep moaning about it, but it's dreadful. It needs a lot of tidying up. So that's another thing I've got to do once that frame's right. done. Yeah. Right, but we don't know what those holes are for then. No, I don't know if it's for um, uh, for controls, you know, for your, you know, so that bolts, your controls bolt onto it. It's a bolt for them, I don't know, I'll have to take a picture and send it to Ian and ask him what it is. Right. That's it really on that, I think. Right. It's just a matter of a few bits and bobs to do. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, um, not much to do in the workshop then. No, I could try on that tank, try and get that dent out. I've got a different different thing and different glue sticks so we give that a, a final go all right. if it doesn't come out this time then i'm going to just fill it you can do it now yeah can we'll do. do it now can do we'll go. Oh, oh, dear. <laughs> come on come on let's have a look at this tank bring your tea right. with you yes i got my tea yeah like your mug mm. now well, where'd you get the mug from uh, that place in Spran's actually shop, they make them all up, don't they? You get out and send them mugs and all sorts. Yeah, it's the main shop, isn't it? It's the main yeah. shop near the um, back of the, well, behind the sort of back of the grandstand on the main street, isn't it? Yeah, because I think we're going to get them to try and get them to do some uh, merch for us, aren't they? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Because we want some more rats, don't we, and bits and pieces, so. More rats? Yeah. Because hmm. we're running out, aren't we? And uh, the dog's got zoom gone zoomies. Oh, I'm going to try your trick again, your idea. Oh, just put screw to the bench. Yeah, to the bench. Screw the bench, keep it steady. Yeah, I bought a kit. Well, so I bought a kit. Yeah, proper dent puller thing. Because because the last time we had a bash of this, yeah. you only had normal glue in the gun, didn't you? Yeah. And it didn't work, did it? Yeah, we kept so pulling bought, it off. Automotive. I do recall I ended up laying on a stuff when yeah. flying across the workshop, didn't so I? So I bought the yellow glue that's supposed to be the proper stuff from Amazon. I bought it all from Amazon. I bought a little kit. It all come with little these little things you glue oh, on. Have a look, have a look, have a look, so have you glue it on, yeah, like that. Yeah. And then you oh, put it. In, get away already. Then you put it into the end of the doodah. Right. Like that. And then you. Boom. But it doesn't hold. So what I've done, I noticed you can buy these. Look. Oh, don't oh, drop it. No, no, I have. Yeah. Buy these. Look, and they've got holes in them, so the glue oozes through the hole. See? Oozes. Yeah. But I don't know which one to put on. Got a little one there, look. Got a little round one? Got a little, little, little round one, but I've also got a starfish one, look. A little star. Oh. Chocolatey star. And right. I wonder if that would be good, because that's sort of like got five prongs, hasn't it? 
Yeah, yes, it because has. Because I did try getting a bar, and I, I got a bar like that, and I put a bend on it, and I tried getting it from the inside and pushing it out, and I, this isn't the actual bit of bar. I got another bar, and I smoothed it all off and put mm. a, But um, it turns out I think it's double skin. It wouldn't it wouldn't come on right. the outside of it, so there's a double skin on this. So we'll have one more go with this. Keep dropping, dropping it again, and if it doesn't pull out, I'm going to fill it. But bearing in mind that was filled all the way round there, mm. so it only needs a bit there, doesn't it? Yeah. Just clean that glue off. Look, it's got some super glue on there. I'm going to make a noise now. Right then. Right. Gonna go, go for, for it. it. Gonna go for it. Yeah. Shall I put oodles of it on? Wow. Oodles. I know why they call it hot glue. Haha! <laughs> 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 I'll put some over the top of it. Well, no, I think you'll have enough there, look. You put too much on it, do you? Oh, I don't know, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just fed up with the thing, not pulling it off. Do I put too much on it? How long did you leave it on? I don't know. No idea. No idea. It's still hot at the moment. Well, wow. Shall I have a slurp of tea? Must be cool. Um, Neil. If you haven't watched it, watch the week before last episode, Motorbike Museum. Because where were we? We were at the the National Motorbike Museum. And where's the National <laughs> Motorbike Museum? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Was it Junction 6 near the airport? It's right near the airport. Yeah. It's right near the NEC centre. And it's really good. There's over 177 marks of British bike. Never realised that. It's made, they're all gone now. Nearly all of them are gone now. Mm. Loads of different um, makes, weren't they? Yeah, I think BSA are back and Royal Enfield are back now, aren't they? you've got Norton as well um, but yeah now give it a, give it a watch it was good they were celebrating um, four, four years. years weren't they yeah four yeah. years and we had, a, we had a chat with um, Steve Parrish Steve was up Parrish there. Maria Costello she was lovely as usual and um, James Hewing that was him yeah that was him and he was very good he was he was very interesting man mm. very interesting man well worth a watch <laughs> as they say yeah. Well, yeah, well worth, worth a watch, watch. should is we try it now is this glue ready mm. yeah come on Let's have a look at this glue. I don't think it's going to do it, but it is. It's going to go. It's, going it's got it. It's got, I tell you what, it's bloody got it. It's going to go off there in a minute. All right. All right. I'm going to hold tension on it. Should we go for it? Go. <laughs> Dog's going, man. <laughs> Hasn't done a thing. Oh. Done a thing, is it? No. Didn't even touch it. Didn't touch it. So, now, this is making me think that the the metal work on a door panel on a car or yeah. a bonnet or a yeah. wing or something like that is obviously it's obviously a lot thin. thinner yeah it's a lot thinner metal a lot metal. thinner than the metal on that fuel tank isn't yeah. it yeah that ain't budging but uh, I then thought I'll perhaps get a blowtorch and heat the metal up and but then will, will it just keep the glue soft mm, probably so that's probably why it was filled in the first place yeah because you just can't yeah Oh well. <laughs> Here Adam, Adam, of course he mowed right? Of course he mowed coming down the road, all the kids are following him, and he shouts out, Oh, he got you! Puts a fin ball! He left your tea on the bench, look. He left your tea on the bench. Oh, yeah. You want to get that down, yeah? You want to get that down? Do you know why you want to get it down, yeah? There's why? a reason why you want to get that down, yeah? <laughs> You're going to Cambridge hey. to get the new port hey. again, aye, aye. Because <laughs> we're not staying in the workshop now. Because there's nothing much left to do. No, there ain't actually. We're going to head off to Silverstone. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much for watching this week's episode. Right, yeah. I suppose it's you want to do your usual, don't you? Yeah. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to give us a thumbs up and a lovely comment. Or any comment, really. Hit the notification bell and you'll be informed when there's a new episode. Does that what it does, does it? <laughs> we can do it standing in a bag of miracle grow or something. I remember when I was a little boy, I said to my mum, I wanted to be shot into space. If your dad would have done it. <laughs> so I just can't. <laughs>
He's doing the old. Oh, he's all excited. Oh, all right, I think. 